Oh, hi. Hi, I'm Barbara Lane. I'm the director of Studio Subtella at Concordia University, part of the Hexagram Institute in yeah, Montreal. Uh, I'm working on this piece called ja Jacket Antics, and it's a piece in which they're scrolling LED displays on the back of each garment, and individually they have two different kinds of messages going on. There's actually lists of inventions. And there are, one is from Canada, she's from Canada, and he's from Australia. And so it's different things embedded in each country. And then when they hold hands, they begin to connect and a third new message scrolls from one to the other. As soon as they separate hands, again they, they revert back to their original message. Everything was woven at the loom. We uh, took normal hard components, removed all the hard legs and pins and replaced them with silver threads. Then we weave in the components. Um, and nothing is added later, there's no embroidery, a few knots, but that's about it. So that's what's unique. We developed a weave structure in which the, the positive threads and the negative threads don't short circuit each other. So that's, uh, I think, the real invention that we've done. This um, is nice. <laughs> How do you get the messages? How, can you program different, all different kinds of messages? Is it real time? Can you feed it from the web? All of the above, but... Yeah. Um, Right now we are programming them with cables because I'm using a wireless device so they can talk to each other wirelessly. We can also program them wirelessly and from cell phones or PDA devices. And um, I'm working with a dancer right now too who's on stage and as we program his costumes, the other dancers do improvisational movement based on what it's saying on the back of his jacket. Nice. So where do you want this to go in the future? What's the future? What's the future hold for scrolling clothing? Hold on, I have an answer for that. I just have it slept for a minute. Um, where is this going next? This is very, very cool. Do you want to go to like imagery next? Do you think oh, yeah, scrolling doing, imagery? Yeah, 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 of course, that's what we're doing. Um, now, right now we're working on a program to make animation so that you might see a little puppy jumping from one to the other or playing stuff. Right now we're working on smaller components. We like to expose the technology when we can because it also talks about weaving as an ancient technology combined with the new traditions of digital technology. So with the new components, we still want to keep them exposed, but we can get more powerful and enable different kinds of sensing devices embedded beyond just the, the touch of the hands. We're also working on a project called Wearable Absence that detects different body sensations and then will bring you other images and designs and text based on a person who's absent. So we're playing with a different kind of um, biosensing devices right now. And that's the next project we're on. Oh, I like that a lot. So how did you get started in all of this? Um, I've been weaving for 30 years. And about seven years ago, I decided I wanted to learn how to do electronics. So one of my graduate students taught me basic electronics. I taught her weaving. And together, we picked apart some hard message boards and put them back together in soft form. Nice. Since and then we've added some electrical engineers to the team and they've helped us with the wireless parts and the different kinds of ways of connecting and sensing. Oh, that's so good.